Yo, what's up guys, back in another video, and today I'll be showing you guys 3 set plays that you guys can score with, and then it's all 22, so let's get into it. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy the content I make, I'll also be streaming more often on YouTube, so make sure you put the notifications on when you subscribe, and let's get into the video. So aside from, you know, cross creases, or you know, like, tie up draws in the offensive zone to get a one-timer, there's not many goals you guys can score that are very high efficiency, that are just set plays that work very well. Obviously, glitch goals, you know, they're very efficient, but it's hard to put them like on a perfect platter to score those goals. This first set play is by far the most efficient one in this video, and it consists of you passing it three times to score a cross crease goal. So what you want to do is you want to hold the puck with the guy who's in the middle of the ice and you're coming in the zone with your three forwards. Not your center, well it could be your center, but it could also be your winger who you know cut from the side where he's supposed to be towards the middle of the ice. So whatever, whatever the case may be for you, you want to hold the puck with the guy who's in the middle of the ice and leading the puck into the zone. Once you enter the zone, once you pass the blue line where it cannot be an offside anymore, you want to slightly slow down, wait for both your wingers who are, you know, one on your right, one on your left. It's going to make your, the opponent's defense slow down with you to, to then make your wingers pass them to go on a 2 on 0. So once you pass the blue line, once you stop or slow down, you want to then pass it to your winger, anyone, does not matter. And then once you pass the two defenders, you pass it across for an easy cross free goal. It's very efficient if done properly, like I said. Really need to master the, you know, slowing down past the blue line. Make sure you're not getting poked or hit from behind. You want to make sure you have space behind you, or else, you know, it might be a little bit more difficult. You want to make sure you have enough space, uh, you know, to not get poked from the defenders, and you want to pass it properly at the right time to score the easy cross crease goal. Next up for the second set play, uh, this one uses your defenseman way more and it's another like a three set play where you pass the buck three times and it works a lot especially if you can open space into the middle. So what you want to do is you want to when you're cycling and you don't have anything pass it to your defenseman uh, whether they're on the one tier or not it does not matter. So let's say you're coming in on the right side you pass it to your right defenseman you pass it then to your left defenseman and then you should have a guy cutting into the middle of the ice you then want to pass it to that guy who's cutting in and then you should have a chance to shoot short side or another pass to score a one-timer goal it's very efficient as it, it makes your opponent's forwards come up towards your defenseman and then it makes him come up to try to intercept the, the one-timer pass from the you know d2d -D shot or try to block the shot which then leaves more space into the slot and more down low to you know make you either cycle or score a cross case or show that uh, or score that short side snipe that i was talking about so if you do it properly it's very efficient but like i said it's not as efficient as the first call i showed you guys this next set play is also very efficient and it's also done in the offensive zone as all goals are scored in the offensive zone uh and what you want to do is you want to come in the zone let's say on the right side you come in with the puck on the right side you want to wait till the defenseman or forward, whoever the guy is controlling, comes at you. You then want to dump it down low if you have your, the correct strategies. If you don't have overload or, or down, like behind the net, it won't work. So make sure you guys watch my strategies video, you know, to know to know uh, which strategies you guys should be using. So once the guy comes at you on the board, you want to put it down low with a pass, not a shot, a pass. And you should have a guy going down low. You obviously want to make sure that the, like whoever's going, whoever's the first guy, the, like the F1, you could say, or the four checker, uh, is going like is the first guy behind the net, right? So you want to pass it to him, as you guys see with uh, Doc here. So I pass it down low, and he's coming against the grain. It's like he's coming against the puck. He's not like gonna go with the puck around the boards. He's coming against it. You then want to either wrap it around, like like as I showed you guys on my glitch goals when I first started, you know, NHL 22. You want to do that wraparound goal, or you should have a guy who's also cutting in towards that side of the net to pass it to him to you know for another triple set, uh, like a, th a three pass play there. And it, both goals work very well. I don't have a goal. I don't have a an example of you know that extra pass there, but it works very well if you can pass that through. Uh, and you can pass it even earlier than the guy can just glide past the the goalie and you can score that empty net. So they're very efficient. You really need to make sure you have a guy coming at you when you pass the puck on the boards. You come against the grain, go around the net and score that goal, or you pass it to the guy cutting against the net onto the open side of the net. Those are all three set plays that I have for you guys today. And like I said, you really need to practice it to make sure your timing's right, to make sure your passes are right, to make sure your passes are accurate, 
and making sure that you have enough space to actually perform this set play. Obviously, you could score those, you know, offensive zone tie-ups and pass it to the open guy on the cross crease, but, like, those are more, like, known set plays. I wanted to show you guys set plays that, you know, are less known and are more bound to score uh, from, you know, not depending on forces or tie-ups or, you know, just out of the blue, right? So, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're new around here. I'll see you guys on the next one.